Hello, today it's the 15th of March 2024 and I thought we'd just do a short video to see what we can see and how many signs of spring there is about. It's about 13 degrees, it's wet and it has been pouring down with rain and it's a little bit windy. So join me on this video and we'll go have a look see what we can see. So I've come to Bathpool Park and on this tree we can just see the first signs of spring. Let's uh, have a look. You can tell how heavy it's been raining. Look at the water and the puddles. So I'm going to take a quick walk to the lake. Uh, I shall only do a short video I think today and as I say we'll uh, see what we can see. So we're just walking into Bathpool entrance and there's the Bathpool notice board. If cars do come round here, if they've got a key to this gate then they can only do 10 mile an hour. So as we head down here we can see how green the trees are. I'll just zoom into them for you. And as I say, there is a lot of moss on there and they're very, very green. It does feel quite cold today. I don't know why, because the temperature does say between 12 and 13 degrees, but whether it's because it's been very wet, but I do feel quite cold. Let's just uh, have a look at this tree and uh, have a look how green the uh, trunk of that is. Absolutely amazing. Does look fantastic. So we've got an exercise machine there. You sit on that and I think you must work your legs on it. Approaching now the uh, railway bridge, the stone wall on the railway bridge and they've put some caps on there so you can't sort of climb up and look over it and it does say danger live wires there we go there's the railway line if you do go off the path today it is very very muddy like i say we have had a lot of rain this morning and we've also had a lot of rain over the last few days we've got another exercise machine there and that must be for strengthening your arms so again you sit on that and you push your arms in and out and it uses the weight of your body. The woods do look beautiful today. Trees are very bare. I did think there would be more spring foliage about, but at the moment I uh, haven't seen a lot. There's a little bit on this tree here. So I'll just zoom in there and have a look. The leaves are steadily coming out there. So we'll, we'll carry on a little bit further into Bathpool Park. Like I say, I think I'm just going to go to the lake and back today. Just do a very, very short video. Let's just uh, have a look here. Look how uh, waterlogged the ground is there. That just proves again how wet the weather has actually been. So as we walk in, we've got more exercise machines. Not a hundred percent sure what that one actually does. So if anybody knows, let me know in the comments. These trees again, look how amazing they look. They must have been here for years. The branches are very, very thick. And they do look spectacular. So we've got another exercise machine again. There's quite a few on this walk up here. And we're just coming now to the children's play area. So we'll just stop in a second and have a look what there is there. So we've got like a bark chipping ground. So if the children do fall off any of the attractions here, it's a softer landing. We've got swings, slides, all sorts of different things. So very, very nice for the children to play on. So here we've got a big fallen tree. 
been fallen for quite a good while. Again, I don't know how long, but I do know the last two or three summers I have been doing videos around here, that tree has been down. So we've got here a vast open field where they do play football and rugby. And that is just before you uh, get to the lake. So let's just add to the lake now and see what we can see there. So we're just approaching the ski centre now, here at Bathbill Park. Ski centre has been here for a long, long time. I think it did close at one point, but it has reopened. And there's another look at the ski centre from a different handle. Uh, we have got quite a bit of water here at the lake going over and down the drainage system and there's beautiful bath pool it does look absolutely spectacular again today got a bit of wildlife on there and we've got all the reflections of the trees so as I say it does look amazing I uh, love standing just in this spot and looking over at the water so peaceful look at that beard there swimming in the water really really enjoying himself and looking for food so here at Bath Pool there is a vast uh, network of drainage systems as you'll probably remember from the video we did on the murders of Kids Grove where we covered Bath Bull Park and Leslie Whittle so have a look on the channel that video is well worth checking out and that was filmed here in Bath Bull Park we've got a train going through there in quite slow and the trees just where I'm zooming in now I don't know whether you can see on the film that's the most spring leaves I've seen in the park and they are becoming quite green absolutely beautiful lovely time of the year we'll have a walk to the end here now and we'll just have another look at the lake see what we can see from the other end it's just started spitting with rain again so good job I have brought my umbrella so if it does start we uh, can get the umbrella up and hopefully carry on this video for you I can hear now and I don't know if you can see it's another train coming through just a small one that's probably in Manchester or somewhere like that uh, let's turn the camera and have another look at the spectacular lake like I said before it looks absolutely amazing all the shadows and the clouds you can see in there it does look absolutely fantastic we just had a duck crying out there don't know what he was saying and if we turn out this way again we can uh, see the wonderful ski centre in kids go let's just zoom in on that for you so you can have a better look at it must be closed today there's nobody on there today as we walk up this side of the lake we have got a couple of seats here and this is in tribute of a boxer and it does look like somebody has been putting flowers on there for him Tommy Lowe and as we go a little bit further up there's another seat here as well covered in flowers Let's, uh, let's just have a quick look who that one is. John Cadman. As I say, the railway line does run alongside of the Lake of Bathpool. Uh, quite a busy track, you do get quite a few trains. A little bit quiet at the moment, we have seen two. So I suppose that is better than seeing none. And again, look how peaceful it looks looking over the lake here. It just looks wonderful.
very very quiet round Bath Pool as well today I've only seen a couple of people again that's probably something to do with how bad it's just been raining so a lot of people probably haven't ventured out yet this uh, bird swimming in the water he seems to be following me he followed me when I was standing down the front end of the lake and he's now coming across here to me he must think I've got some food so what I am doing today as well uh, with it being a little bit windy I'm just checking out these uh, lanyard microphones see how good they actually are see if they do shelter the wind so we'll carry on walking a little bit and then we'll head back towards the car there's a normal duck just uh, swimming green head coloured body and that little bit of rain that I did mention does seem to uh, have eased a little bit now so we don't need the umbrella and we can carry on walking around without it we've got two birds there grazing they're looking for food I suppose they're after worms and different things like that I don't know uh, whether they found much food today and normally along here you do get quite a few fishermen but again I suppose with the weather being like it's been we uh, we haven't got many there I have had to just put the umbrella up so a couple of minutes ago I said to you the uh, rain had gone off but it does seem to be coming on quite bad again so like I say to keep the camera and everything dry I have uh, had to put the umbrella up and talking about trains here's another small train he must be uh, heading into Kidsgrove station and there we go only a small one two carriages and I'm not sure where he's come from but as I say he is heading that way and that way we have got Kidsgrove station what I didn't realize and I've just seen now I'm just getting zoom into it there uh, just at the bottom of the ski slope I don't know whether you can see it on the video but we have got a mobile phone tower uh, blending in quite well with the trees so I am struggling a little bit here now the wind has considerably got up I do need my umbrella up and it's actually trying to blow the umbrella out of my hand and it's making it very very hard to hold on let's just have another look at the lake and like I say it's spectacular we'll have to come round again uh, in a few more weeks and just show you the difference as spring does come into full bloom it will be probably two or three weeks before we can do that because next week we are heading to Los Angeles in the United States uh, we are going to stop there for a couple of weeks and from then on we're going to uh, Sydney Australia I did say a couple of weeks I did mean a couple of days there actually uh, we're spending most of that holiday filming for you in Australia and we're going to Sydney so we'll get you some wonderful scenery and footage from the city of Sydney and we then will be moving to Brisbane where we'll be stopping at the Gold Coast so again we'll get you some wonderful footage of the two areas there uh, we then go back to Los Angeles and then back to the UK so that's something you can look forward to and that's coming very very soon that's uh, a week today when we actually go so getting quite excited I've got virtually everything ready now so we'll soon be there bringing you spectacular video 
from the United States and Australia. So stay tuned and watch out for them. So like I say, this is a brilliant test for these lanyard microphones. I am wearing a lanyard microphone. I've got me transmitter in my pocket. And it, like I say, it's a good test because it's very, very windy. The uh, wind is blowing full into my face. So we'll see how good this is. And we've got another train coming. So we'll stay recording here and just watch this train. This is a little bit of a bigger train. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carriages on that one. So as I said, it is quite a busy railway line. That's probably four or five trains we've seen now. Well, we've been doing this film in Bathpool Park today. So we've got here a bridge walking over the railway lines. Uh, which takes you to another path walking along into Bathpool. And we're now looking again at the uh, playing fields. They are massive. And at the bottom there you can see the complex drainage system. So we'll just have the final look of the uh, beautiful lake here before I uh, start heading back towards the cart. The bridge in front of us years ago the, did extend the ski centre and the ski slope used to go uh, over that bridge but I think that uh, ceased years and years ago don't know exactly when so again that's another interesting question if anybody can answer me that let me know in the comments be very interesting to find out and just before we leave the lake there is quite an interesting sign there and it's actually telling us what sort of pond life there is so we've got frogs fish snails lizards butterflies all different types of things different fish Amazing beetles, spiders, mosquitoes, leech, they're all there, uh, all there, and all in this area. So here on these trees we have got quite a good sign of spring. And look how green that particular tree's actually gone. Absolutely amazing. Like I say, it's a beautiful time of the year when everything suddenly starts coming back to life from being all drab in the winter. So I suppose now over the next few weeks, we uh, will be seeing a lot more of that type of thing. Uh, one thing I have noticed now, you can now see the nights. They've come a lot lighter. It's staying light now till well after half past six. In the mornings, they've uh, come a lot lighter as well, so a few weeks ago it was not light till about 20 past 8. It's uh, now quite light at 7 o'clock in the morning. And in two weeks time the time changes to British summer time. So we do put the clock on an hour and that will give us another extra hour at night. But it will take an hour away in the morning. Well that will be fantastic because we will start getting some really nice light nights. And as I mentioned to you before, look at the trees across there. They really are coming green and the leaves are coming out quite spectacular on them. Funny isn't it how some trees do uh, come out before others. Don't know whether it's whether they get more sunlight there or more warmth. I've not got a clue. But uh, there's one, two, three, four trees there and there's quite a lot of leaves on them and there we've got some more daffodils i haven't seen many daffodils around uh, bathpool but there is some there i'm heading now out of bathpool park i'm heading back to the cart quite enjoyed me walk today shame we had that little bit of rain and it did get very very windy but i suppose that all makes the film 
interesting. So like I say, next week we're in the United States and then off to Australia. So stay tuned for that. We should get you some spectacular videos and footage out there. So I think we will end this video here today. So if you have enjoyed it, please like, please share, and of course, please subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you soon on the next video.